Dan here for Motion Stacks, and today we're going to make a 3D coin. There's no extra plugins needed, but I'm going to use one called the Move Anchor Point tool. It's uh, completely free and it will help you out in the long run. So, first off, let's create a circle. This will be one of your faces of the coin. Hold Shift and drag that out to make it a perfect circle. And then, if we use the Align tools that are within After Effects, that will put it into the center of the composition. Again, this is where we use the Move Anchor Point tool. If you just click in the center here, it will click it right into the middle. Normally you have to use the Pan Behind tool up here, and that's not very not very precise. So if we click here, that will go right into the middle. We'll make that a 3D layer. And next up, we will create one of the edges. So you come down, take the stroke off, and make a rectangle down here. If you use the align tool again to get that in the center, and then we'll try and line it up here with the edge of the coin. That seems pretty good. We we'll use the move anchor point tool again just to get the anchor point at the top here in the middle, and then we will make that a 3D layer again and rotate that along the x axis 90 degrees. So here you see it's kind of gone behind this layer, which is what we want. Next, you need to move this anchor point so that it's in the middle as well. Unfortunately with 3D layers you can't use the move anchor point tool so we'll go down here and we'll put the grid on and uh, we'll just bring that up into the center there. Try and make it as precise as possible so that it's right in the middle. There we go. So now the rotation axis is around the center of this circle. So if we see here we use the Y axis it goes right around the edge. So what we'll do is we'll click Alt and this stopwatch here to make this an expression. We'll come back to that. We'll create a new null object, which will be the control. And we'll use this for a couple of things. First of all, if you right click in the effect controls and bring up the expression controls, we'll put a slider control in there. Next, if you see this padlock here, you click that. And that means that whatever layer you select, that will still be in the view. So we need to come back to this shape layer. We'll call it edge. And we'll call this one face. So we'll take the edge on the Y axis, which is this one that rotates around here. And what we'll do is we'll type index times. And that refers to this index number here. So that would mean two times this slider number. So at the moment it's zero, but if we put this up, you can see that it's moved around. Put it back down to zero. If we duplicate this and then change this number here to 10. So now it's telling this one here two times 10 and this one here three times 10. So at the moment they're quite close together. If we make this 15, you can see they've got a bit further away. And if we click on the top layer, just keep duplicating that a whole bunch of times, we can see that they make their way around the circle. So what we'll do is we'll just duplicate that a couple more. And then take all of these, control all to select everything except the control, and we'll parent it to that. So that's another reason that the control comes in handy. We'll make it a 3D layer and now you can check out what you've done. So see we've got a nice edge here of all of these squares. If you want it to be a smoother edge you'll just have to make these smaller and this number smaller so that they're tighter together. But we'll leave that how it is. So you just want to check that you've got the whole thing covered. So at the moment I've got a gap here so I'll just duplicate that. One more time, and that's fine. Set these back to zero. And now all you need to do is use the camera settings here to go to the left, and we'll just create another face and drag that to the edge. So now, if we go back up to the control, we have a coin and that can spin around like that. 
But if we create a new composition and drag that one into here, at the moment it will be a flat composition just looking at whatever this is. Um, but if we click the continuously rasterize button and turn this into a 3D layer, it will actually show us what that composition is in terms of a 3D layer. So if we rotate this, now we have complete control over that layer without having all the faff of these layers in our way. So they're all pre-composed into this, which we will call coin. And then you can animate that as you like. So for example, here's one I made earlier. You can set up a bunch of these animations and you've created a 3D coin within After Effects. No extra plugins needed. I'll put the link to this in the description. It helps me a lot, but you don't have to use it. And there we go.